Hey, what's up all? Welcome to another lesson. Today we are looking at Santa Clara Vanguard's 2018 snare break. So I'm gonna break it down for you. Um, it's fairly simple actually when you do it slow enough, right? It's not got too many crazy meter types in there and it's in 4-4, which is a bonus, but it's very difficult to play it fast. So I'm gonna teach it you is that the original is somewhere in the region of 156, 160 beats a minute. It kind of goes up and down a tiny bit, but the, um, the speed we're going to work at today is going to be down around about 100. Now what I'd say to you is learn at this speed so you understand the whole thing and then start to just go up in intervals of say 5 beats per minute till you can reach the target of say 150, 160 beats per minute. Right, let's get stuck in straight in with that first bar. So the first bar um, sounds like this. In fact, I'll put it on the pad. Let's play it. That's the first bar. So let's break that down really quickly, right? So we start off with one and a two, one and a two. So we've got left hands are all up and we've got one sort of half accented right hand at the, at the beginning. Right, straight into a flam drag. One and a ja, bigger da, ja. Then a little seven stroke roll, but kind of decrease in volume. So if I try those first three counts, but I mentioned them on. I've got 100 beats per minute there. So we pop then in a little left hand, eighth note, with a release on the right. So. That's the first bar. I'll leave the metronome on the moment, right? Oh, so, so the second bar I've got. So a little triplet, and on the end. So I've got one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and. So that little buzz just crossed over buzz. And a little paradiddle diddle crescendo at the end. So I've got, and that's the whole bar. Three, four. Last one. Three, four. So here's the first two bars. And again. Let's have a look at that third bar then. So we start the third bar with a nice little tap five. Then we've got this pattern, like a hair to pattern, but the lefts are up and the rights are down. So tap five into that. Two eighth notes. And then a little five stroke at the end and a little tap release. So I've got whole bar with a met. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Last time, two, three, four. Okay, the whole top line then. One, two, three, Try the second line. So the start of the second line, this bar here is the one that for me, when it's quick, I always screw this bar up. This is the one that's the reason it's taken me a few days to be able to um, play all of this, this lick, because what we've got is we've got a paradiddle diddle, which is fairly easy. Then we've got two eighth notes. They're both up. And then the next paradiddle diddle, rather than being the same thing again, which is what I keep accidentally doing, it's actually double accented and ends with accent. So we get. Then we get. 
So that whole bar needs to be done with the metronome and the timing of this is crucial. So I've got and. And because I screw this one up so much, I'm gonna play this one three or four times here, right? Two, three, four. And again. Okay, so we're we're into the meat of this one now. So the the memorable part I think of this snare break is not the stuff we've played so far. Those it's, it's cool cool parts. This next bit is the bit that, that that everyone remembers it for. This is the. It's just something cool about all those less being up in the speed of those parallel diddles that, that that shine through. So to learn these, when I first started figuring these out. I couldn't figure out the timing of them. And so what I did was I broke them down really, really slow. And what I started to figure out is that if you run them in eighth notes, then they're just in groupings of three eighth notes, as in like one and, uh, sorry, one and two and three and four and one and two and three. And they kind of work in that in that meter type. So what we've got is we've got the equivalent of, if we slow it ridiculously down, two eighth notes and two triplets. But there's a parallel on the second one. So we've got eighth note, and probably easier with the metronome. If I set this so that it's going at um let's set it double the speed. Okay, that's a bit too fast. Let's slow that down. Let's put an accent on the first note so you hear that, and let's change it to three, four. One, two, three, digga, digga, da, digga, da, digga, da, digga, da, digga, da. One, two, three. And there's basically, um, let me just look at the music, one, two, three loops of that. But it comes out with another one of the as if they're going to go into one more. So I add that extra note on. Okay, let's try that back in 4-4. Four, four. Make sense? Two, three, four. So we're coming out of that stop this we're coming out of that on count two of the bar so if we take it up to tempo we're going to get come out there um in context then what that means is is that the, i think that they're thinking of that as a section and then the next section is which kind of makes everything kind of go screw off scoot off of the, the the four by four but there's something about it that makes it really work nicely right anyway the next section so the next section we're looking at two groupings of five right quintuplets so within quintuplets um, opportunity 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 well, we're playing um kind of egg beaters aren't we so we've got like three rights and one left opportunity 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 with the first note accented but then what we've got is we've got kind of reverse opportunity Opportunity, 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 opportunity. So the first thing to do is just try those two parts. Opportunity, 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 opportunity. Opportunity, opportunity, stop. Opportunity, opportunity, stop. Now it actually stops with the tap. Again, let's do this with a metronome so you understand where I'm coming from. So ba da ba da da ba da 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 da. One more. Now after that, we've got a triplet and it's going right, left, left, right. Right, left, left, right. So, opportunity, opportunity, right, left, left, right. And all the lefts are up and the rights are down. So we get. One. 
what you can see is obviously that slash through the note, meaning it's actually, it's one of those. And then we're into the final bar. So the final bar, we've just got a little triplet roll with a laxative release. And then we've got a quintuplet again. One triplet. And that's the end. So if I play the whole thing through for you, Okay, so if you've dug this lesson, please let me know. Let me know in the comments if there's any other snare breaks you'd like to break down. Um, loads of other lessons on my YouTube channel. Go check those out. If you're enjoying it, please subscribe. Maybe hit that notification button. Um, yeah, see if you can work up to speed. It really won't take you long. If you start slow enough and just go in small increments, there'll be no time, before, uh, no time at all before you're playing this full fill. So thanks for watching. See you in another lesson. See you all soon.